Hi everyone, I am sitting in front of some of my favorite Scentsy warmers for the fall and Halloween. I've got my new October whip box, so I hope that you stick around and check this box out with me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel. First, I just want to give a huge shout out to my returning subscribers. Your support means the world to me. I don't know how I could do this without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you click on that red subscribe button. It's way over there. So I hope that you click on that button. I hope you, everyone gives me a like and I would love to hear your comments or your suggestions on Scentsy and different items that I should be trying. So anyway, Scentsy, I am just loving my Scentsy Whip Box. And I happen to get this every month in my Scentsy Club. Um, so it's a subscription to me. It's $30. If I get $30 more in my Scentsy Club, then shipping is free. But you don't have to get it every month. If you wanted to get it as a subscription, you can get it every month, every two months, every three months. You can get it as a one-time purchase only. And I just love this. You are going to get a blend of some full-size items and some samples. And it's not going to be much over $30 for the value, but I still love getting it every month. It's just such a treat to get some, some new items and some surprises. So inside the box, it all says Sense with Love. They're all, they've always been in this box, so they're great to reuse the box. Um, if you wanted to store your wax bars in them or use them to rewrap other items. You're going to get this little uh, pamphlet right here. This has got the shape of a pumpkin on it. It's got some little things on the back. So before I knock something over. Okay, so it says all about autumn. So it says capturing the essence and allure of autumn. October's Swift Box will make you want to hunker down and be cozy. Chances are some of our new scents will morph into your new fall fragrance for fall favorites. So anyway, the inside, they usually have some kind of activity or a list or something fun to do. And this month is no exception. So if you carve your own pumpkin, there's some templates that you can use to create them. Or you could always, I suppose, just cut them out. Use them um, if you wanted to use a marker instead of carving up your pumpkin. You can still use them as a template. Okay, so all the boxes have this tissue paper. So this is actually very nice and smooth this month. So you can always collect them and reuse them. And there are the goodies in my box. So I am going to take everything out and put the box on the floor since I'm just sitting on a footstool and I don't want to fall off. So I just hope that everybody is enjoying the fall so far. Um, we've had a couple of nice days, but we even had snow already. A little too soon for snow, but we're supposed to be in the 60s this weekend, which is pretty good because I haven't started decorating outside yet. So I don't want to be a party pooper, so i got to get my button gear when it's nice out and get out there and decorate. Alrighty, so first thing we got is three full-size bars. And I'm sitting a little far away, so um, I'm not going to be able to really show you the names on these. But we got three full-size bars. This first one is Apple Cherry Strudel. And I've used this one before at work, and I just love this. If you like the food and the bakery scents, you are probably going to love this. Oh, this one is really, really sweet. So it's apples and cherry, and it's like um, a nice vanilla creamy glaze that you uh, put over the top of the strudel. So a very, very sweet fragrance. Next is brownie batter, and I've never smelled this one before, but I know that this is a new one. Or maybe it was new last month. And as soon as you open it, you can smell it. It is, it's got that heavy kind of dry chocolate. So it's like you've just mixed up a batter of your best brownies. You're going to throw it in the oven and have a cup of coffee and some, uh, top it off with some whipped cream or ice cream. Very, very chocolatey, but I do kind of smell like a mocha, but maybe that's because I'm just associating brownies with coffee. But if you like the brownies and you like that chocolatey scent, I think you're going to love this one. 
and this was this one is the scent of the month and i had a sample last month i love that sample so i bought a couple of bars already and this is perfect pumpkin pear i just love this one so this of course was pumpkin and pear and cinnamon no some clove and sandalwood just love this one and of course if you're new to sensei these little bars come with these eight cubes in them and you just have to uh I'm going to say perforated for lack of a better word, but they're pre-sliced all the way up to there. So you just have to bend it and break it just enough to bend that little bit. And depending on the weather, sometimes in the summer they're a little flexible, so it takes a little bit longer to break them. And sometimes in the winter they're frozen solid. But, whoops. but you are just going to bend it, take out your little wax cube, Put it in with uh, your wax here and your, one of your warmers, and you are good to go. And of course, and that's just what it looks like. Hi, Ren, I had to do that for you. And Felicity, too. I know that you probably get a kick out of that. All right. So next, we have a scent circle. And this one is Stroop Waffle Delight. And this is one of their fragrances. I think this is a new one last, last month, but I believe I had a sample a couple of months ago. And this, I believe, is Butter and cinnamon and maybe vanilla so it's another one of those sweet fragrances and these scent circles if i get closer these you can put in a locker bag a gym bag you can put them inside your child's school locker you can put them inside a closet you can hang them in your car they're just a nice little fragrance that lasts maybe 30 days maybe a couple of months and you can always recharge them you can put them in a ziploc bag if you have like a room spray, you can spray it in the bag and then you can get more uses out of them. And we got two bags of washer whips. And washer whips, they're on the idea of like the downy unstoppable. So you put these in the washing machine. So just one bag per washer, it's a sample. And the fragrance this month is Clothesline, which is awesome because I just bought some, uh, in my Scentsy Club, I just bought some more um, laundry liquid and I got the Clothesline to try. So I got the Clothesline, the fabric softener and the laundry detergent, but I didn't buy any washer whips. So I got some free washer whips to try with it. And Clothesline, I've had this in the wax bars before and I really like it. So it costs it's that fresh linen. This one has a flowery scent, so it's a little bit different than Clean Breeze. So it's uh, softer, like uh, maybe some violets and maybe some crisp green. So this one is very nice. So I'm looking forward. Maybe I will wash my sheets in this this weekend. Alrighty, and we got some Cider Mill hand soap. And one thing that I love with this hand soap is it's very moisturizing. And you only need like one squirt. And your hands get clean. They're, well, sanitizers. They can be in a... The season but it is moisturizing so if you do end up washing your hands a lot these are awesome and the cider mill um i had this last year so i know it's on um, apples and pumpkin and probably some spices with it too but it was very very nice fall scent and we got a room spray and the room sprays are really nice because even though you've got you know maybe a warmer or two going and your house already smells nice and beautiful but you're sitting on the couch next to um you know a teenage grandson or a teenage son or even a husband you know and they do those silent but deadly ones and they are like or they just let it rip you know teenage boys they just they're just gonna let it rip because they are proud of it and the smellier it is the prouder they are so yeah these help get rid of it right away or if you've got a puppy that loves like pepperoni treats they do those silent but deadly ones too and then they look around like hey what did you just do yeah you're gonna get sprayed right, right with this and it's and they're very concentrated so you only like need a spray and and you can smell this and that'll make that bad scent go away and I did uh, get some wax bars in this already, and I do love this scent. I've even used this at work a few times. So this is a uh, pumpkin and like autumn woods and nutmeg and cinnamon. So it's a very, very nice fragrance. And lastly, we have some samples. Alrighty, so we have got, and these, uh, it's a real good size sample. Um, it's between like two and three maybe closer to two but maybe three of these the little wax cubes is what it's equivalent to so you can put the whole thing in a warmer or you can cut it up and split it up maybe into four if you wanted to spread it around to see if you wanted to buy it 
buy a full size one. And the blood orange. And this is a very light, light one. So it's um, like candy apple, some blood orange, maybe some kind of spice in it, but not overly heavy. So it's not the idea to me more like a Christmassy scent, but a winter scent. But it's very, very light. So I think if you are not one for strong scents, that you would probably like this one. And next we have Snow Kissed Cranberry. And this is actually my uh, advanced whip. This is going to be the scent of the month for next month. So getting an advanced whip, you know if you like it, you can, that first day of the month when it comes on, because they're 10% off, you can get a couple of, couple of them and stock up on them. So Snow Kissed Cranberry. So it sounds like it's going to be like a, a winter one already. So this is sweet. So I smell the cranberry and I've had the cranberry garland before and maybe another cranberry one that's a really, really strong one. But this is very mild and it's sweeter than that. So I think it's got maybe some sweet orange or some orange zest in there with the cranberry. But again, this one, again, it's mild. I've had other cranberry scents that are really on the strong side. This one's very, very mild. So I think that was everything that was in my Scentsy box. So if you have any questions on Scentsy or the fragrances, I'd love to answer your questions if I know it. Of course, if I don't know you, the answer, my daughter Raina will. So anyway, my daughter Raina is uh, my Scentsy guru. She's my consultant. So I am, I love uh, getting things through her and helping her out. So if you are interested in Scentsy, but you don't have a consultant, my daughter Raina will be glad to set you up. And if you do love Scentsy and you already have a consultant, that is great. I'd love to hear what your favorites are, especially with the fall scents coming. I know more people, I think, like the fall scents and the winter scents more than the, more than the summer flowery ones. So I would love to hear what your favorites are. And if you get the Scentsy Club, if you're in the Scentsy Club, or if you get the Whip Box, what your thoughts on are. So anyway, thanks everyone for joining me because I'm starting to slur my words. So I think it's time for me to go to bed. So anyway, thanks for joining me. I hope to see you again soon and we'll chat again soon because I've got more videos to do, I think. So anyway, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.